Hello everyone, good morning and welcome. It's Yin Yang Flow practice today with uh, the theme uh, Detox uh, for Yang and uh, Let Go, Let Be for Yin. Now today's practice is a great combination of the best of both worlds. Um, you get to move the body a little bit faster, move it in a sequence, a series of poses that's been strung together and move in a flowy manner. And then we start to slow down. Uh, when we come to yin, uh, we do two poses of yin before we come to relaxation. Right, good morning, Angela, Angela Cliff. Um, good morning, Paula. Right, great. Um, it's about 10 o'clock, so that's the time uh, for our practice on a Sunday morning. Well, all our practice uh, in the morning starts at 10. Um, starting from next week, yeah, even the energizing flow on uh, Thursday instead of uh, 11 o'clock, we will start at 10. And uh, morning, Shirley, welcome. And of course, uh, as you already know, this week we started uh, with the outdoor uh, yoga. So three days a week, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So Tuesday and Thursday is 1 to 2 p.m. And Wednesday is in the evening, 6 to 7. All right, um, I started with two classes, the afternoon classes, Tuesday and Wednesday, when the government, uh, you know, uh, guidelines saying that uh, we can do outdoor group exercise uh, yeah we can do outdoor group exercise uh, so uh, with a maximum maximum of uh, six people um, the Wednesday evening uh, has been added uh, because of requests I get for how about us working in the day working from home uh, you know we would love to to do an outdoor class as well so for that reason uh, I added uh, the Wednesday um, uh, evening 6 to 7 for those who like to join us uh, after work okay right morning John great um, now it's uh, coming to the end of week 12 week 12 of our lockdown so today is Sunday is the end of the week next week Monday is a brand new week morning morning uh, um, I'm, I'm seeing uh, new names, uh, thanks for joining us live, uh, whether you are joining us for practice or just, you know, have a preview of uh, what to expect, uh, welcome, welcome all. Uh, what was I saying? Um, never mind, did I say, oh yes, uh, brand new week, uh, next week, so next week, uh, that's tomorrow. Tomorrow is a brand new week, week 13. Um, uh, whatever this week has been uh, for you, for me, um, I'm sure it has its uh, good days and not so good days. Um, it's okay, right? We just uh, accept what it is and hopefully next week will be a much better week. Okay. Now, welcome everyone to today's practice yin yang flow. So as usual, for yin, get your props ready, all right? Your yoga props, things in the house that you can use, um, books, uh, cushions, pillows, uh, blankets, um, just have them with you in case you need them when we come to yin. Or even yang, all right? Some of the flow, um, some of the poses when we are in flow, uh, if you think that is is going to be useful to use a prop, especially downward dog, if you have two props, uh, two books or two bricks, I think that'll be helpful to just go a little bit deeper. Okay, let's um, <clears throat> let's get started, and I'll see you on the mat. Alright everyone, come to a comfortable seat position with your legs crossed or legs straight. Sit up nice and tall. Now we're going to start in mindfulness meditation. Using the breath to focus, opening up the body and to centre ourselves. Right, 
Once you feel grounded, you feel comfortable, breathe and relax and gently close your eyes. Just nice and easily start to feel yourself slipping in and shifting gears. Start to shift from doing into being and finding some well-deserved quietness and calm. As you turn your gaze inward, allow the sounds around you to be an opportunity to deepen your focus and concentration. Try not to let those sounds be a distraction to you. Spin that to your advantage and allow yourself to drop deep into your practice. Gently guide your attention to your breath. Focus on the air. Passing in and out through your nose. Then start to draw a deeper breath into your belly. Into your chest. As you invite the inhales down a little bit deeper. And press to exhale soft a little bit longer. Making space as you pause between the breaths. One more round. Deep inhale. And long exhale. Now allow the breath to come back to its natural rhythm and At any point, the mind starts to wander. Gently guide your attention back to your breath. Focus on the breath and let everything outside the breath to fade away. Gently bring your awareness back to your breath and blinking your eyes open. Welcome everyone. Welcome to today's practice, Yin Yang Flow. Now come to all fours. <clears throat> right, you spread your fingers nice and wide. 
Place your hands shoulder width apart, knees hip width apart. Align your shoulders and your wrists, your hips and your knees. You can point the toes back or tuck your toes under. Neck long, shoulders soft. Neutral spine, keep breathing. Now three rounds of cat cow. Let's wake up the spine, arching the back, lift your tailbone, lift your heart. Pressing into your hands gently and look forward. On the exhale, tuck the tailbone under. Lift your spine up towards the sky, chin to chest. Repeat, two more. Inhale, you arch your back and come to cow. On the exhale, cat. And as you hold, breathe. Now last round, keep breathing. And come back to center, neutral spine, neck long, shoulder soft. Now inhale, exhale, you slide your right arm underneath your left, left elbow down, right shoulder down, and lower your head to the mat and look to the side. Gentle stretch in the right shoulder, right arm. Keep the hips lifted and one more breath. Slowly come back to all fours. Inhale, exhale, left arm. Bring the right elbow down, head all the way down. If you need to slide a prop underneath your head, please do so. Keep breathing and as you look to the side, soften your gaze and then engage your back, slowly come back to all fours. Puppy stretch, elbows down one at a time. Relax your head and neck, grab a prop, slide it underneath your head or you release your head all the way down to the mat. Stay here on your forearms. Or walk your hands forward, activate your arms, spread your fingers, little arch in the lower back, feel that nice stretch in the upper body and breathe while you hold. One more breath. Come back to your breath. Those if your arms straight, walk your hands back, hands underneath the shoulders, everyone. And get your back, pressing into your hands, chest up, head up. Right. Let's work on the hamstrings, the calves. Inhale, exhale, right leg back, parallel to the floor. Flex your right foot and square the hips. As you press into your hands, make sure you're not locking the elbows. Rotate the upper arms inward, elbows soft. Your next exhale, gently release. When you're ready, left leg back. Hip squared, left leg engaged, the neck is long, fix your gaze, breathe. And slowly release, come back to all fours. Right, you tuck your toes under, you engage your core, draw the belly in, engage your back. Inhale, lift your knees an inch to above the floor. 
and then exhale, knees down, relax your back. One more time, lift, breathe, hold. And then shoot your hips up and back. Downward facing dog, knees bent, neck long, gaze soft as you look back. Now you rotate the upper arms inward and feel the broadness across the upper back. Nice stretch along the back of your neck. Your next exhale for the next few breaths. You're going to walk the dog out. Pedaling out your feet, one knee bent, while you straighten the other leg. Slowly come back to centre. Inhale, draw your thighs up. And complement this by releasing the heels down as you exhale. Softening the knees, walk your feet to the top of the mat. Feet you with apart, knees bent, let the upper body hang. The crown reaching down and then you grab your opposite arms, opposite elbows. Slowly grounding through your feet, rock, sway side to side. Then slowly come back to centre, relax your arms and shoulders, pressing into your feet, engage your back, inhale, root to rise, come up to standing. Okay, three rounds of sun salutation. Mountain pose, feet in width apart, spread your toes nice and wide, legs engaged, upper body soft. Standing tall, grounding, feeling solid. Bring your palms to your heart center. Together, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, open your arms wide, swan dive. Hands to the shins on the knees, pull the chest out, half lift. Next exhale, bend your knees, fold. Bring your hands to the back of your legs, so arms to the side, chest to thighs, relax your neck, breathe. Exhale, plunge your hands firmly to the mat, step your legs back, plank or half plank. Neck long, shoulders soft, arms strong. If you have your legs straight, reach the heels back, firm your thighs. And the crown reaching forward. Next exhale, option, knees down, then the upper body down. Or chaturanga, elbows in, body down with control. Toes pointing back, hands underneath the shoulders. Or come down to your forearms. Elbows, shoulders aligned. Inhale, you lift your heart. Cobra or sphinx, you bend back to your own degree. Shoulders soft, legs engaged, kneecaps down or lift the kneecaps off the floor. Exhale, chest down, relax your back. Those in Sphinx, bring your hands underneath the shoulders. Everyone tuck your toes under. Inhale, downward facing dog. Set yourself up for the next five breaths. You breathe with your legs straight, knees bent, or feel free to walk the dog out. Come back to your breath, knees soft. Walk your feet to the top of the mat. Fold with your knees bent. Exhale, 
half lift, hands to the shins, neck long, back nice and flat. Pressing into your feet, knees soft, open your arms wide, mountain, palms together, down to your heart center. Second round, inhale, reach your arms up, look up. Exhale, open your heart, open your arms wide, swan dive. Inhale, half lift. Keep breathing. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Option to straighten your legs. Go deeper and keep the spine long. Exhale, hips down, hands to the mat. Legs back when you're ready, plank or half plank. Hug the elbows in, body down, or bring the knees down first, then you release the upper body. Sphinx or cobra, you decide. I show you sphinx now, forearms down, elbow shoulders aligned, and take this gentle variation if you find that it's just too much for your back to come to cobra. Now, variations are there for you to choose. Go deeper or take it easy. Exhale, chest down, hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, let's meet in downward facing dog. Keep breathing. And as you draw your thighs back, Lift your hips higher and feel your spine getting longer. Gently release, come to the top of the mat and then fold, knees bent or legs straight. Half lift, engage the back. Inhale, knee soft, open your heart all the way up back to mountain. Palms together down to your heart center. One last round, one breath, one movement. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Hands to the mat. Legs back, plank or half plank. Release with control or release gently. Inhale, scoop the chest up, sphinx of cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale, downward facing dog when you're ready. For the next three breaths, you breathe deeply and smoothly. As you create length, strength and space in your entire body. Slowly, mountain pose. Before that, you fold and then half lift and ground to lift back to mountain, standing tall. Take a moment here. Next, chair pose. And then twist. All right, everyone. Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, you bend your knees, sink your hips deeper, lifting your heart. Exhale, twist to your right. Okay, you stay here or you hook your left elbow to the outside of your right leg. You slide your left knee back so the knees are aligned. Relax the right shoulder. Next exhale, twist to your left, keep breathing, look to the side, or look back. Slowly come back to center, all right, hands down, step your legs back, downward facing dog. Take a moment here, when you're ready, three-legged dog, lift your right leg up, 
Bend your right knee. And then start to open the hips a little bit more. Right knee up towards the sky. See if you can stack your hips. Slowly look up from underneath your right arm. And slowly come back to centre. Square your hips. Right leg down. Both knees down. Child's pose. Knees together. Or knees match with the pot. Slowly you come back to your breath. Let's meet in downward facing dog. Ready for high lunge twist. Inhale, you lift your right leg up towards the sky. Step your right leg forward between your hands. Engage your legs, you engage your back. When you're ready, both arm reaching forward and Slowly sink your hips deeper, palms together, down to your heart center. Inhale, you lift your heart, legs strong. Exhale, you twist to your right. And then slowly you open your arms wide, palms facing down. Spread all your ten fingers. Bring your palms to your heart center. Face forward. Now, you're going to bring your back foot half step forward. Ready for eagle. You're going to cross your left leg over right. Place it on the outside, on the mat. Or wrap it around and square your hips. Keep the spine nice and long. Exhale, sinking the hips deeper. And hold. Gently release, left leg down, inhale, arms reaching up, open your arms wide, palms back to your heart center, back to mountain, reset, ready to do the left side. Inhale, exhale, bend your knees, sink your hips deeper, then you twist to your left. You can stay here, or this time you open your arms wide. Option to look up or look to the side. Bring your palms together, center, twist to your right. Stay here, or open your arms wide. Make sure the knees are aligned, keep breathing. Palms together, body center, hands down, slowly legs back, downward facing dog. Left leg up, inhale, bend your left knee, stay here, easy with the upper body, look back, body center. Or exhale. Left knee up towards the sky, opening the hips, and then you look up, keep breathing, relax your head, relax your neck. And then square the hips, slowly left leg down, and back to child's pose, to rest, to reset. Uh, 
arm back to your breast. Let's meet in downward facing dog. Three legged dog. High lunge on the left side. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale, you step your left leg forward between your hands. You engage your legs, you engage your back. When you're ready, arms forward and body up. Okay. Sink your hips deeper. Option to bring the back heel down for some support. Slowly palms together down to your heart center. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, twist to your left. Stay here. Breathe. Or open your arms wide, palms facing down, relax the shoulders and engage your legs. Bring your palms to your heart center, exhale, look forward. You bring your back foot half a step forward, eagle on the other side. So you can cross your right leg on the outside of your left and then bend the knees sink your hips deeper or you wrap that right leg around square your hips and hold your eagle right slowly release right leg down inhale arms up Open your arms wide, hands all the way down to the mat, legs back, come to plank, both knees down, then you cross your shins and sit on the mat. We've come to the yin part of our practice. First, sit at fold. Now you extend your legs in front of you. Option to sit on the cushion. Okay, you sit on a, oops, on a block. Right, so have your legs slightly apart, about hip width apart, relax your legs. Now you relax your arms, relax your shoulders. We've come to the yin part, so it's not focus, it's not so much on the alignment, it's about how you feel. And don't push yourself too far with the stretch, just allow gravity to do the work. You relax your arms and shoulders, you can round your back and then walk your hands forward. Okay, you stay here, chin to chest, relax your head and neck or you have your props, you can place them between your legs. And then you let your head go. So you get creative with your props. How far you can go with the fold. And then when, you're, um, when you find your space, you find your place, you find your stretch. Use your props to support that. And then you can relax your arms and shoulders, palms facing up or down. Relax your legs. Okay, you can flex your legs, uh, flex your feet if you want to engage your legs. But it's more about just letting go and let gravity to do the work. And at the same time, you surrender, release, let go. Now you hold while I set the timer. Three minutes for this pose. Feel that nice gentle stretch at the back of the neck, the spine. Just work with your hips, how far you can go with the fold. Not to worry, even if you're here, just bring your chin to chest and hold. It doesn't matter.
that's the cue to release. Release gently and get your back. Bring your body back to center. Look forward. Right. Take a moment here. Relax your legs. Roll the shoulders back and forward. Right. You can swing your legs over to one side or cross your legs and come to downward facing dog. Next, swan. Most of you are familiar with pigeon. Right. Come to downward facing dog. And then bring your right knee to your right wrist. Slide your left leg back, lower the hips. Okay, see if you need to move your right foot away from your left hip. Sink your hips deeper. You have your prop. If your right hip doesn't go all the way down, place a prop underneath your right hip to support. The back leg can stay straight or release the back knee down, toes tucked or untucked. You can stay here, chin to chest, relax your neck, shoulders, or you can come down to your forearms, go all the way down, head, chest down. You have an extra prop, you have your pillow, your cushion, you can rest your head, and hold here. Now two minutes on each side. Now there's no rush to get into the pose. Okay, you listen to your body. The back leg, if you need to bend that back knee, go ahead, bend as much as you want, and then feel that nice stretch in the right hip, right hamstring. Relax the upper body and breathe. You move slowly and bring your hands underneath the shoulders. <clears throat> Lift your heart and then slowly hips up, straighten the back leg, back to downward facing dog and walk the dog out before we do the other side. When you're ready, left knee, left wrist, slide your right leg back, see how low you can bring the hips down, back toes tucked under or untucked, the back leg straight or bend the right knee, you need to place a prop underneath your left hip, go ahead, so you are quite low but not touching the floor, it's okay, so you place a cushion, a folded blanket, or you have your yoga prop, okay? 
give it some support and then slowly if you want to stay here that's fine just relax your back relax the shoulders if you want to go down stay here halfway down or all the way down and you find your swan your pigeon and then you start to get still it's like yin and stillness they are synonym and understand that the longer you hold the deeper you go the deeper you go the deeper you heal and the deeper you heal the better you're gonna feel the cue to release and get your back hands underneath the shoulders lift your heart when you're ready don't move too fast slow down and then slowly lift your hips higher and up downward facing dog and once again walk the dog up Ready for relaxation. Come back to center, both knees down, elbows down, and then legs back, hips down, slowly roll onto your back. Bend your knees. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock side to side, back and forth. And circling the knees to open the hips. You will take your time. Slowly you come back to center. Arms around the shins or the back of your thighs. Squeeze your thighs a little bit tighter. Chin tucked. Stay here. Or inhale, head up. Exhale, head down, relax your neck. Arms down and feet flat on the mat. Ready for relaxation. Knees bent or legs straight, you decide. If you have your knees bent, place your feet match width apart. Allow the knees to fall in towards each other. You're comfortable with your legs straight, feet as wide as the mat, allow the toes to roll out. Align your head, neck and your spine. Option to slide your arms away from the body, palms facing up or bring your hands to your heart, to your belly. Once you feel comfortable, gently close your eyes.
and switch off from the outside wall. Find that place within you where you know you're not needing to get anywhere, not needing to make anything happen. As you once again start to shift from doing into being. Just be, just breathe. Gently guide your awareness to your breath. Tune in to the cool touch of the inhalation. And the warm touch of the exhalation. When thoughts appear in the mind, just let the distraction go and come back to your breath. body to sink deeper and deeper in to the earth. Relax and let go. Relax and let the back of your head become heavy. Relax your face, relax your jaw. Relax your neck and the back of your shoulders. Relax your arms, relax your back. Relax and let your hips become heavy. Relax your thighs and your knees. Relax your calves, relax your ankles. And relax your feet. Begin to feel the lightness in your entire body as you let go, release, surrender. Stay in this state of calmness, peace and relaxation in your breathing, your body and your mind.
inhale, press. Wiggle your fingers, your toes. Bring yourself back to the present, to the here and now. Feet together and float your arms overhead. Inhale and stretch your whole body. And gently release as you exhale. Relax. Bend your knees and slowly roll onto your right side. Blinking your eyes open. Soften the gaze and stay where you are. Stay calm. Stay relaxed. And then you engage your back. Use your hands to support you as you push yourself up. Come to sitting. Sit with your legs crossed, legs straight, or option to sit on your heels. Sitting up nice and tall. Together, deep inhale, open your heart, open your arms wide. Arms together, down to your heart center. Inhale, take in the positive energy around us. Exhale, let go of any negativity and anything that no longer serves you. And let be. One more round to close our practice today. And thank you all, thank you everyone. Right. Uh, so we just uh, did a uh, yin yang flow. Right, listen a little fair. We'll be doing this later today, Bella. It's okay. The videos are there for you to do it later at your convenience. Videos are there uh, to catch up on your practice. So don't, uh, you know, don't, don't uh, be too hard on yourself. If you can make it uh, for live practice, well done. If not, still well done. As long as you turn up on the mat, whether you do your practice the morning, in the afternoon, evening, before bed, just make sure that you make some time for yourself. Now, if you wake up this morning and feeling, mm, and you had to drag yourself, you know, to the mat for your practice, I hope now you're feeling so much better and glad that you actually did it today had this uh, yin yang flow. To be honest with you, I'm saying it for myself. That's how I felt this morning. Well, we are just normal human beings, aren't we? I mean, I woke up this morning, I was like, oh. But I'm glad that it's not core flow. It's not like power flow or, you know, that really strong flow class. Uh, it's nice to have the, the yang and then slow down yin come to relaxation i was uh, i nearly doze off in uh, relaxation i don't know whether you notice but i quickly get out of it and make sure that you know we finish this class and uh, don't drag it for too long right i shall not take any more of your precious time um it's the end of week 12 in terms of our practice it's that's it our practice for today for this week but I'll see you tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock, for a gentle practice, gentle hatha. And then uh, pretty much um, the same classes uh, for next week, um, whatever that we've been doing these past uh, 12 weeks. 
Okay, everyone, you have a good weekend. Look after yourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay sane. Until next time, bye for now.